Yo, what is going on, dudes? My name is Mitch, or Beja Canadian, and welcome back to Skybounds. This is episode number 26, and we've got some big, exciting things to share with you here today. First and foremost, I'm still wearing my adorable American Bulldog Holiday Spirited shirt. Whew, feels good, man. I actually really want to get a lot more of these animal graphic tees. They're super sick. I want more of them. More awesome t-shirts, please. Someone hook me up. Who's got the connections to get me more of these beautiful bulldogs? If anyone can help me out, that'd be sweet. Anyway, back into the important thing. I'm going to shrink myself, throw me up into the corner, and get into this Skybounds episode before I get any more distracted with the lovely graphic animal t-shirts. Let's get into this, shall we? Now that I'm done being distracted by the shirt, I am going to jump into the episode by selling out i want to let you all know that the executioner immortal kit is going to be taken off of the shop shortly here it will only be on the store until roughly midnight uh, something like that on, on wednesday and i know it's late tuesday night so welcome to all my late night viewers who have tuned into this as i posted it i know it's like 1 30 a.m eastern standard time in the morning so too bad fudge me up oh and, and there goes my whole connect oh my goodness well, all right, I'm back. The world hates me. Our internet just had a lag spike, but we're good. We are good to go back here on episode 26 of Skybounds. As I was saying, the executioner kit is off the store soon. So if you want to grab it, get it quick, get it hot and spicy like. Whew. And now let's go to our island and show you what I really wanted to show you, which is that I have finally at last, I swear it's the real deal. This is not a joke. I've organized all of my chest loot. So, the best gear. You see here, I've got some of my tools and swords and things that I've used along my journey. I've got some food that is actually only food. Let me just double check. I got no loose items in here, right? I think I'm good. Whew, we got iron armor, which I've moved over here now, which is just unenchanted, basic old gear. Same thing for diamond here. And then, if you head this way, we've got enchanted armor that's decent. Oh, we got a sky drop! Oh, it's tempting. <laughs> It's tempted to go out there, but I won't get distracted. So this is like random stuff that I get that's okay. It's better than being bad, but it's not amazing. And I actually want to get the full barbarian set. I have the headband and I have the shoes. I'm just missing the chest plate and leggings. I also would love to collect a full set of warrior merchant armor because why not? And I'll throw those in there. And I have nothing in that bottom one. Unenchanted armor junk. That's where this kind of stuff falls into. It's still better than these, but it's it's relatively speaking, it's junk. We got bows and arrows going in here, which I think I have more bows I got to toss in there. OP weapons. I I haven't moved my OP weapons into there yet. And OP armor, like basically protection three diamond or up is what goes in there. Oh, GG, C, G, un, hide, G, G, I'm on my island. Embarrassing moments, GG. There it is. And over here, swords, still swords, pickaxes, still pickaxes, axes are back to being axes. The tax collector's chest, it is looking oh so good for the drop parties. Actually, it's not. I need to collect a lot more taxes. I should probably do some island tours soon. So I can steal things from people who were dishonest and uh, had poopy islands that didn't meet the standard. And over right here in the pumpkin watermelon fields that have become a total failure and I didn't want to actually use this space, it is forever going to be dubbed the junkyard. I'm going to put all the things I don't want into chests over here and forget about them. If I ever want to look through them, I can. Or if I don't, it's fine. These can remain disorganized for all of eternity. It doesn't matter. It just really doesn't matter. So have fun in- Oh, coal. I'll take 64 coal. Why not? The rest of this, whatever, man. Fudge you up for free. I don't need you. And now let's head back up to the top of my old chest room and show you some of the more exciting changes. All the chests over here, pretty much gone. We have redstone equipment over here. We've got our ingots, ores, gems, and more in this chest, which we have quite a bit of now. You see I have a lot of diamonds. And I've got a decent amount of gold, decent amount of emeralds. I got stuff here I could sell and make some more stacks. Speaking of stacks, if you check my scoreboard over there, you'll see I have 1.9 million stars. If I do bow top, I am not quite in the top 10, but I'm not that far off. But I'm also going to spend all my money today and get budged. So I'm going to drop off that list most likely. Anyhow, ore seeds over here. We've got a good collection of them. I've got an emerald ore seed level 4 and a diamond block seed level 3, which is a sweet bless up item there. At least 20 diamond blocks for us. More emerald ore seeds and just other stuff doesn't matter. Monster eggs, spawn treasure, and the pearls. We got spells down here. We got our random rare loot from the war zone here, which I've got some stuff that I'm excited to share with you. Of course, this super slap cookie level 100 that we collected in yesterday's episode. We've got a demon's bow, which I need to actually move that. The ender bow can stay here. Berserker's great axe is an OP item, so I'll move that. This and the anything OP here that I should move. Head splitter, that's ah, pretty OP. I'll move that. Leave the rest. Orb of flights. Music discs. We gotta collect them all and become a DJ. Bat bombs, not too bad. We have two paper schematics now. The medieval house and the windmill, which is dope. 
And I have a buried treasure here, which I need to open up. So let's go ahead and whip this baby open and see what we get. Bless it up for the loot sword. Bless it up for the freaking loot sword. Don't let me down, fam. You're gonna let me down. I already know. And what I get? Hey. Oh, I thought it was gonna be the warrior merchant. The lost golden chest plate. Protection four and unbreaking three. Absolute trash. We'll put it down here in the enchanted junk chest because I don't want it. And now if we keep going this way after opening that fail of a buried treasure, we got potions and that's it. I mean, there's my potions. Nothing too crazy going on there. These chests I've gone ahead and relabeled as well. Cobblestone stone, basic stuff, buckets, water, lava status. We got our building supplies here. Just miscellaneous blocks that we didn't use up and wooden blocks that we haven't used up as well. Over here, we got some random mob drops, which I should go ahead and sell all these. And if I go down here, I farmed some of my zombies for a little bit. So I got some double chests back here. We have almost a full double worth of rotten flesh tempted to see what those all sell for as well this episode lots of cactuses that i need to sell too we could do some merchanting we could definitely do some merchanting this episode get ourselves some more stars try to break the two million dollar mark let's check our own balance so we are at 1.868 so i think we should break the two million mark and then spend all of our money and feel salty so i think that's that's the plan and i'm gonna work towards that plan but first op weapons i'm gonna deposit oh no turbulence don't do this as I was trying to say before my internet exploded here again, I, I kind of want to break that $2 million threshold and I want to store my items over here. Let's put these OP weapons into the chest so that they're organized. Extra nice. Very good. And the demon's bow. I like that a lot. And then let's head over here to our best gear chest. Let's drop that off. Let's drop that off and let's go sell some goods. Let's make some fat stacks. Break the $2 million threshold. And by ourselves, our very first one and only blaze spawner. It's gonna be a good day when you get the blazes. Let's take our miscellaneous loot here. This should be enough. Actually, slimes. I can't even sell slime balls yet. I don't know who gave me those. I never farmed slimes. Someone trolled me and put them in my stone chest, as you guys know. Oh, sky drops. Oh, that's tempting. Oh, that's tempting. Well, we're gonna move the rotten flesh for now. And slash spawn. We are not gonna go and dabble in the war zone right now. It is not worth dying over. Let's hit up the lovely market. Let's sell these goods. I think it should push us over 2 million. It'll be close. It'll be very, very close. There he is, the mob drop merchant. Please sell all of my stuff and make 2 milli. It's all I want. All right, so almost a full inventory worth of rotten flesh will equal 38,000 stars. I mean, that's not that bad. It's just going to take a little while to sell all of it. 38k stars ain't bad. There's 325. Sell these arrows. 50 a pop. Not bad. There's another 5k. We got bones we can sell. Two stacks of them. Thank you. We got string as well. We're going to get close. We are going to get close as long as my internet... Uh, it's dead. My internet's dead again. It totally is dead again. I can tell. I can feel it. I can feel it in my freaking belly. It's tingling. Oh, we good. All right. Well, the belly song worked. And sell. Beautiful. Another 4,000 there. Spider eyes. Some more cash here. What else do we got here? We got... Oh, no. The turbulence is back. What the heck is wrong with my internet tonight? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, if this video is not out by 1.30 a.m., now you know why. Um, this might be a 3 a.m. or if I have to wait 10 minutes every single time I play for two minutes. Fudge me up, man. Fudge me up real good. Alrighty, dudes, we are back, and I've got some bad news, and I've got some worse news. The bad news is it's uh, a fresh day, and I no longer have my bulldog shirt on, but that's okay. I got my Benja hoodie on, so it feels good. It feels comfy, cozy, regardless. And uh, the worst news is, unfortunately, I recorded a bunch of stuff that you'll never see now because when my internet kept bugging out, I, I didn't realize one of my recordings stopped going and, and then I commentated for like 20 minutes building something awesome that you could see in my inventory. I, uh, I put some some time into but I can show it to you guys and finish it off with you at least It's kind of a bummer because I was I was some solid bands I had some good time blabbering to myself as I built it and, and you missed it You missed all the action regardless I will do my best to try and catch you up to speed on what I was doing there So let's go ahead and uh, oh I got to activate another orb of flight as well now my goodness I'm going through my orbs like no tomorrow <gasps> Oh boy, what do we got left as far as orbs go? Rare random loot. We have 4, 15, 10, 15 minutes will hopefully be enough. If not, I'll be okay. Kit flight. Yes, there we go. I can grab that up. So um, let's head over and let's see. What else did I try to show you guys? I didn't see. I, I think I got all the chest uh, organization stuff done. I think we were heading to the market last time. And then, oh my god, I already spoiled it. Yeah, right here. 
We're making a nether wart farm, guys. We are making the nether wart farm, and it's going to be beautiful. And I guess another random comment. If you look at my scoreboard, I don't really remember where the recording left off. I got to edit it still. Um, I have 186,000 stars now because I bought myself a bunch of soul sand and a couple other things that really weren't too expensive. Some more hoppers as well. And I also, most importantly, bought a blaze spawner. So if, if you already saw that, and I'm doing this twice, and this is just going to be weird in editing. Whatever, fudge me up, fam. Yeah, so over here, you can see we have the soul sand all set up in a nice 17 by 8. And the reason I built it this high up instead of down below is if I ever want to expand it, all I have to do is destroy this last little section here and make it 17 by 7 so that the water flow, when I activate this, will actually push to the very last soul sand and then drop again and go seven more blocks and drop again seven more blocks so if i want to make this bigger and bigger and bigger i can actually do that um but for now i've done it like this so that it will go the perfect distance to the edge push the nether warts down and i'm gonna have to put more water in here you'll see in a second how this design finishes off so let's go ahead and build that same thing here and we can beautify this and make it look pretty later on as well we need two more buckets of water we need to take our hoppers and we need to place them here so we want it to flow into the chest and we want it to drop into that that's perfect and i'm gonna go ahead and put this like so beautiful so it will drop into the hopper and it will fill into the double chest and if i would like i can go ahead and do this check it out i can go I want the double chest, so I need to go down one more, and down one more, so double, double trouble, give me the double trouble, there we go, and then I would go like this, oh, oh, fudge me up fam, it's tough when you're flying to try and do this perfectly, so let me scoop this hopper back up, thank you very much, and we'll go up here, and bang, nope, and bang, got him, perfect, so now, in theory, this chest will flow into this hopper, which will flow into this chest, and we will be uh, mad blessed. Ha, ha, ha. I'll stop. That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. Put in some glowstone down just so we have some light around here. And it will look more beautiful. There we go. Just chuck in a couple more in. Feels good, man. Now, if we take our nether wart and plant them all up in this, you'll see what happens. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Plant in a way. Let me just flick that off. We don't need that right now we'll plant this entire field of soul sand and it's actually exactly 136 nether wart so i don't even have enough right now to fully plant my my fields up so i might have to go steal some from somebody who's got a nether wart farm happening already and there we go beautiful there it is yeah i'm gonna eat a bunch more so i'm gonna go island go let's check out your boy raf poo because i know raf is the man he's got a lot of farms so let's see where's his nether wart farm hiding at you know he's got one. You gotta know he's got one. Nether warts in here? I don't see any just yet. Nether warts! If he doesn't have a nether wart farm, I'm gonna look like a real fool with my pants on the ground. He's got a tree farm here. Hmm. Nether warts? Nether? 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 Nether warts? Going once? Going twice? Do you not have nether warts? Oh, fudge. Uh, sorry, there's some glowstone. I don't think he has nether warts. And if he does, maybe they're hidden away so well that no one can find them and steal. <sighs> Never mind, I found him. <laughs> I have found them and I will steal them inside of this house. Wait, is this where you, how do you get to them? I saw them. I guess they're all right, outside of this house. He's got a nice little city down here though. I like it. I dig it a lot. So how do I get in there where his warts are? I want your warty warts. Can I have them? Can I have your warty warts? I'll replace this. Don't worry. I'll replace your blocks. And there you go. It's been sealed up. I don't know if you're going to hate me for doing this, but I'm doing it. I've stolen your goodies. I will replant some of them, though, because these are fully grown crop. I don't think he's been here in a while, so let's take it. Let's take it all, because we need to put some of it back down, and then I'll use the rest myself for my own farm. He won't even know. He literally won't even know this happened unless he watches the video, because these will all be regrown by the time he gets back. Yeah, let's just replant all this. We'll give it back, Rapu. You're going to have your seeds back. Your lovely nether wart seeds are going to grow up big and strong. And when I say seeds, I mean the stock. I know, all right? It's called nether stock. I know, guys. You don't have to tell me in the comments that I'm a freaking pleb. I'm aware, all right? I know. I know what these things are called. And I'm going to put lots of these little red nipples down. And then we're going to be set and go back to our base. And put more red nipples down on our own island. It'll be the greatest day ever. Actually, not really the greatest day ever because I'm still tilting that I lost all the footage. But... It'll be nice. It will be nice nonetheless to have our very own nether wart farm finally. I realize we haven't had one and the series is over 25 episodes in, which is kind of crazy to think. Because this is one of the most lucrative farms in Skybounds and in Skyblock in general. So, 
Yeah, um, I need to make sure I get this done. I do have a zombie sp uh, spawner. Zombie spawner. spawner. That one. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little brain fried right now. And angry at the whole freaking world. Just kidding. Life's good. My roof's being fixed right now. So if you hear weird banging, that's what you're hearing. For real, my roof is being fixed right now. This morning, I woke up at 8 a.m. to the roofers freaking dropping bombs on my house. It was so loud and so terrifying. Like, it really felt... Because I have an air conditioning unit on my roof right above where I sleep, pretty much. I thought that thing was going to collapse through the ceiling, and that was going to be how I went out. I thought I was going to die, guys. I really thought that was going to be the way that Beijing Canadian is dead. <laughs> Death by air conditioner crushing. That would have been tragic and very, very lame. So, thankfully, that didn't happen, and we're here today to record. So, Netherwart Farm... Complete. It looks beautiful. It looks splendid. And I can't wait for it to be fully grown up so I can flick that lever, activate it, watch it all drop down. And like I said, in the future, to make this bigger is pretty dang easy. I just have to keep building and I need to buy more soul sand to do that. I only have 24 blocks of it left and I'll need more nether stock as well. So I'm going to put all the nether stock. Let's just see if this works, actually. Let's just chuck it in here. Bloop. We'll go over here, throw some down as well. And bloop. And a little more bloops right here, 64 more bloops. And how's it going? How's it going in this hopper? I think I need to put another block here to be safe. There we go. Just so that nothing can escape ever. Ever! There we go. It all drops down. It'll funnel through and end up in this chest down here. Look at that. It's a beautiful day. It goes in fours, which works for me. I'm happy with that. I guess it's less ticks on the server. And just as efficient if it's going by fours instead of ones. Unless hoppers always do that and I'm an idiot. That's always possible. I wonder if Quiff has paid his taxes here in the uh, Quiff's treasure donation. He hasn't. Quiff, I need you to donate. If you're going to use my fields of sand, you must give me some of the rewards. That is a must do. Regardless, um, what else do I want to do this episode? Because I've lost so much of the footage. This would have been the point where I would have been going for like 40 minutes probably and been good to end. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and destroy this stuff here. But I'm not going to do it with this pickaxe. Let's go up. Let's grab our fortune pickaxe from in here. Because we have a lumberjack fairy pickaxe still. I'm not sure where I got it to be totally honest. Lumberjack fairy ho. We won't be needing you right now either. Actually, yes we will. We have challenges to do and only 7 hours left. Fudge me up, fam. Let me grab that hoe back. Let me get that hoe. Let me get that hoe do. There we go. <laughs> and let's just grab this for now. Stand right here. This is the spot. Activate. Reserve. And go. Bang. 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 Alright, we got a bunch. We got a bunch. How much emerald did we just get from that? We got 17 emeralds, not too bad. And honestly, I'm just going to break all these ores because they don't really serve a major purpose for me anymore. So I may as well farm them up. I've got a nice fortune 2 pickaxe here in the lumberjack pick. So let's just scoop it all up. Let's scoop it all up. I know we were saving this originally, but because reserve doesn't work the way it used to, because of ore seeds being introduced, there's no point. Plus, it was a little OP being able to use it over and over again and never, ever have the block disappear. So, yeah. I'm going to scoop all this up, though. Getting rid of my island riches. Feels good, though, to finally have this area cleaned out. This has been from, like, episode 1, 2, and 3 we emptied this out. And now we're truly emptying it out. A little more diamond over here. See you later, duder. And see you later, duder. We got a couple more of these to break. And I, I could dig it. Let's see how much stuff we got. We got some bonus drops, too. If we could get ourselves an ancient rune, legendary relic, or immortal stone, that would be so savage. Let's just break this cobblestone, too. It's annoying me. Be gone! Be gone, you evil cobblestone. And this pickaxe is going to be level 15 soon enough. Look at that. We are at 1,800 experience to go only, which is nice. Is reserve ready? No. 500 seconds more. Not even close. Not even close. All right. Well, chop that up. Scoop those resources up. How's our field looking? Are there any of these fully grown yet? I don't think these are full. I think these need one more nipple growth to be full. Yeah, they need to be... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Needs to be a little more nippy out here, and these will be bigger. I don't even know why I'm calling them nipples. They don't even look like nipples, but whatever. I think I think you guys will be getting a laugh out of that one. So, deal with it. Deal with it. Love it, like it, love it. And we're dropping down here. We're going to beat some challenges here. We need to clear out some of this wheat. So, there are, what, um, 52 in each of these. And I need to plant a bunch. So, let's just go ahead and do this. Why not? Give me some big drops. Give me. Look at these double dings. The dings. 24-7 dinging right now. I like it. Oh, baby, I like it. And suddenly, I'll be done farming this. I'll be replanting the seeds. And I'll be getting those challenges complete. And in seven hours, I'll get some fresh ones again, which would be nice. And there we go. That was easy enough. Beautiful. Because we have to plant 80. And 
Do I have inventory to pick all this stuff up? Did I? I don't think I got it all. It's probably a. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll store this stuff here. Seeds. Seeds go in here. Wheat goes in here. Seeds go in here. Do we have more seeds? We have even more. I need to plant some of these anyways, so. Uh, I'll just go up the line here. More dings! I'm gonna turn my volume down because this is probably gonna blow your eardrums out because like it's blowing mine out. All right, give me those seeds. We need to get one challenge down. 75 player experience, easy peasy. We got 30 more, 50 more, whatever. It was 80 for the next one. That was so ridiculous that we got matching challenges though. Easy MMR. Easy flipping MMR. And hit me with the other challenge. Hit me with that other challenge. Oh, the perfect amount of seeds! Double whammy, baby. 165 more player XP. Checking out our level right now. We're at 750 XP towards level 23. We have a lot more to go. Daily archery challenge. Well, daily challenge is the archery basics, which is just to kill three players with a bow. And I think I still have a bow somewhere. I'm going to replant all this still, though, just because I can. And I believe I can definitely do this bow challenge. Let's throw these seeds away. I don't need them. And how much wheat do we have? That's it. That's really not that much. I think we got a lot of double seed drops instead of the double wheat. It's fine. I'm not really using wheat for farming right now. I think I will go ahead and beat that archery challenge though. But before I do that, I just remembered one other thing that I did when my video cut. I planted a diamond block seed. Yay. So let's see how much it gave us. Let's check it out. One, two, three. I have inventory for this. Cool. I'm going to get all of these blocks, and I'm going to see how much there is. Let's check this out. Let's check this freaking stuff out. It's going to be legendary right here. Legendary. Give me the goodies. Give me the flipping goods. And so it's minimum of 20, and it looks like we're beating that minimum by a good chunk here. Nice. 25, 26, 7. Oh, my goodness. There's so many more back here still. Yes. Juicy, juicy diamonds. 33, oh baby, I might keep these for building blocks, but actually, because no one's going to have this many diamond blocks, come on, unless you get a diamond block seed, then then maybe, but I have 38 from that level 3 seed, that is ridiculous, I could either sell that and make some stars, or I could just hold on to them and, and uh, be rich man swag, 58, plus all these bonus diamonds, here's my blaze spawner by the way, check that out, I gotta create a second one of these little uh, spawning zones, I'm gonna make it just on the other side of this dirt actually, and I'll build the second bridge and everything, I'm gonna make it perfectly uniform, but I don't really wanna do that on camera, we've built one of these on video already, so I think it's time for us to just do that off cam, and uh, have it be a speedier process, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and beat if I can find this stuff. Let's go ahead and put that away. Uh, I'm tempted to actually do a quick. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, there go the creepers. I'm tempted to do a quick. Oh, there's so many creepers down here. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna wait for daytime. So I'm gonna head into the war zone for now, and uh, I will I will stall it out. There's our 27 more emeralds as well. Some easy gold. There it is. I need to store all this stuff. I'm going to try to stay organized now, though, dudes. I'm not going to be as lazy as I once was. If I want to be lazy, I go to the fields of garbage. And I just put it in the junkyard here because I don't care about this farm. I don't even know why I made it like this. It was It's just uneven, driving me nuts, inefficient. Down here below is obviously the most efficient farm you've ever seen right there. That's what it's about. And then we got the nether warts too after this episode. Feeling good. I should probably sell cactus as well. I've got a lot of double chests full of cactus. In fact, I'm going to give myself... I have one minute left to flight. I'm going to give myself some more dubs right here. And there we go. A couple more. Because look at this. Look at these. They're not all full, but plenty of them are stuffed. And look, more again. I just like to keep emptying it a little bit at least. So, whoops. So that it doesn't fill up. And let's head over here and check this guy as well. Yeah, I don't want them to ever fill up again. Because I did that and I wasted probably like, I would guess, 40,000 stars worth of potential cactus growth. Because I didn't I didn't empty them for a bit. So I need to keep, keep on top of that. I need to stay on top of it. And food, a poisonous potato. No. Goodbye. <laughs> you are forever gone. I'm going to take some of these steaks. I need to head up to the redstone zone. We're going to run out of this orb of flight. Less than one minute left. My goodness. And let's throw redstone in. Let's throw our hoppers in, our droppers or dispensers, sorry. We have gunpowder, what glowstone we don't need, levers we don't need right now, and then various building supplies. I'll keep the uh, cell sand in there as well. Let's drop over here really quick, and supplies. Let's do these back here. I didn't actually use another brick at all. Originally, I thought I might, but I kind of decided against it. 
And flight has worn off. Sad times for the bench. It's fine. I'm gonna go grab my orbit flight kit from the uh, drop zone super fast here. Super real splickety quick. Let's go get it real, real quick, real fast. And then I need to get myself a bow out and head into the war zone. I do have some overpowered bows that are good enough. And I'm not sure if I have an invis potion on. I hope I do. Because if I have an invis potion and the bow, I don't have to worry about people killing me. But anyways, renaming myself just in case. Just in case. Literally just in case. And I don't want to get in the habit of this. So I'm taking that out. Put that back. These are fine where they are. It's all good. Guillotine, I will bring you in case I want to chop some heads off. And I need to grab some armor. Where's my OP gear? OP weapons. Oh my goodness. The head splitter. Guillotine five but i don't want to use that uh diamond protection three and let's see demon's bow or elven bow we'll go demon's bow the flame will be more helpful so we'll grab that that is plenty of arrows anything here this is the junk zone um decent ah helmet protection two and let's go protection two boots and let's go diamond leggings perfect it'll have to work for us because we don't have anything else i'm going to put my orb of flight away and i will be pretty much good to go five minuters ten minuters we'll put them in order i guess as best we can we'll bring some bat bombs and we'll bring some ender pearls just in case and golden apples where are those at just to be a little bit more cautious and i think they're down there in my food chest let's go ahead and throw an emerald ore seed down as well just to keep this thing pumping out stuff because it's kind of a waste otherwise there you go there you go do your thing do your thing and i think that's fine because i think that's only going to give me 10 or more emerald ore so i'll just let it do its thing and it'll be fine uh looking around here though i need what i'm, I'm i guess just golden apples and notch apples maybe i'll bring one and i'll bring this many because i don't really i mean if i die i'll be a little salt because this gear is my best gear currently which is sad i know i die and i lose stuff all the time trying to do challenges it happens when you get ganked and wrecked by many people who want your body and want your face. They literally want my head, guys. How do you think I feel? If people want your skull at all times of day, it's a rough life, okay? I'm gonna put this in here to set the example. TNT chest, there you go, more gunpowder. And slash spawn and slash war zone, accept. And anyone around? Anyone here? I mean, I am renamed, so hopefully people don't realize it's me. My skin is the same though. I didn't bother changing my skin today. But at the same time, a lot of people wear this skin, so it shouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. Oh, baby, though. Three kills with the demon. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Did he see me? I don't think so. I was checking to see if his diamond armor was enchanted or not, and it was enchanted. I don't want to risk that fight right now. It'd be nice to win it, of course, and get his gear, but if he's got full executioner or something, I'm going to struggle so badly to win that fight. And once again, speaking of full executioner, I realized this video was supposed to air late last night, but my internet had problems and the recording failed and all that good stuff. But the executioner kit, as a reminder, this is the last day to get it. It's about 5 p.m. as this video airs. So depending on when you watch this, it may already be off the shop. It'll be off the website, I believe, at around midnight Eastern Standard, maybe a little bit later than that. So if you want to grab the executioner kit, you got to do so sooner than later. And then it will be, it'll be GG. What does he have? What does he have? What does he have? What does he have? <sighs> Not risking that one. I want to find some pleb lords out here in the war zone. Maybe if someone drops a sky drop. I wish I had a sky drop right now because that baits so many people out here. And I just need my three wee little kills and I'll be happy. That's literally it. Just three easy, quick, reliable bangers and I will be on my way. Looking around though, nothing yet. No pleb lords walk in the war zone. Just, oh god, oh boy. Um, he's chasing. Okay, and bat bombed him. I should be fine. I should be fine. I should be out of his render distance before he even can see again. In theory, in theory, yes, I should be fine. And I have my inner pearl as well. Is he's gonna have to guess which way I went? I think I'm okay. I just don't want to deal with that right now until I get the three kills. At least let me get the three bow kills, then I'll take on a bigger fight. I just don't want to do that right now until I've gotten my kills because it's scary times out here. I just want to beat my challenge. I just want to beat my challenge. Me, ch me challenge. That's it. That's all. Anyone mining diamonds over there? Nope. People are so scared of the war zone these days. I feel like the, the ores in the war zone need a buff or something to make people want to come out here because <laughs> people are so afraid. It's hilarious. All right, jumping up top. I don't see anything just yet. 
just yet. No players. This is odd. Usually there's at least a couple of people mining things. But I'm finding zilch at the moment. I may go to spawn and just walk off of spawn where I see some plebs run. Hmm. That might be the move. Because here I'm at the futuristic robot thing too. And there's still nobody. Zero players anywhere, man. Yeah, time to slash spawn. We'll see what we can find. I'm just going to let this teleport run through. I'm looking around. I still don't see anybody, so let's eat this steak. Let's stay chilled. Let's stay chillaxed. And as this is happening, I want to thank you all for the support on the Skybound series. Click that like button. Show some love for the nipple farm. It would mean a lot. And, uh, yes. Uh, that's actually... Oh, my gosh. That's going to be the video title, Nipple Farm. I feel like I have to now. I feel like I really, really have to. All right. I'm taking a peek around, though. I'm not seeing anybody walking the war zone without gear i may need to get myself a storm generator i might need a sky drop to bait people to the war zone looks like everyone's working on their island or they're all beefy players i don't i can't kill someone in full diamond with this bow there's like no chance less than no chance for real though there's no way i'll get that hmm ha 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 the struggle is real because these dudes are waiting they want real fights but i want my challenge first before i take on a crazy real fight so i'm thinking i'm going to Head, ooh, wait, what is this? Oh boy, that's a mosh pit and a half. That's a dangerous place. Looks like they're all teamed as well, my god. Team of how many people there? That is insane. No thanks. That would explain why no one's in the war zone is they have the guardians of the freaking universe out there. Oh, that's someone. That's someone going to the war zone though. There we go. Whoops. And hit him. Hit him with one, Mitch. Hit, just hit him with one. There we go. And he's going to have a rough time. I need two more of these after this, though. Get back up here. Got him. There's one. All right. I don't want Slay ever. Let's go to Rage. Rage is the one you want. I don't care about that gear. Sorry, dude. Your gear is still there. Gear is still chilling there. So someone got this emerald. Oof. Um, hmm. Two more of those, though. Two more people just lurking the war zone trying to get loot. And I'll be... Oh, I thought I was going to miss that jump. And I'll be good to go. The scariest time ever right now, man. The scariest of the spooky scaries. Do, 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 do. Just lurking about. Hopefully none of those giant... Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> something outside my window just fell down. Oh, it looked like a big squirrel or something. But I think it was the roofers throwing something off. That jumped me. That tripped me out. You guys saw the look on my face. Oh! What is that? Um, what is going on? Where are the players in the Warzone besides those guys in a full diamond enchanted? I don't want to deal with them right now. I just want some pleb status out here. Just some easy, cheap, reliable pleb statuses. Two more of them. That's all I'm asking for. And I think I will... Oh, I could take this. I could take this. Heck yeah, I could take this. See you, dude. See you, dude. Oh, you want some as well? Come on. Come on, baby. They're, they're a team of two. I realize that. But I don't want them getting away. Where are they trying to go? Oh, he's done. He's done. That's one. Will his friend come to back him up is the question. All right. Poison damage. Don't let me down. Oh, he's jumping off. Did he e-pearl? I didn't see one. I didn't see one. Come back up. Oh, no. Did he pearl? Oh, for fudge sakes. He, he pearled somewhere, but where? Where'd he go? Oh, no, 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 no. I did not see the ender pearl. Not like this. I'm looking for a name tag. Mmm. Tilt, man. Two of them got away. Ugh. And there's more stuff dropping from the side of my roof right now. <laughs> uh, well, if he ran this way, I don't think so. The diamond guy did. The other guy did not escape. He was not as lucky. So, I don't know. The other dude must have be he must be back at spawn by now. Gosh dang it. That's so annoying. I need he had encha enchanted iron gear. I would have loved to get that from him. I would have loved to get my grimy paws on it. I just wish I saw where he went. I should not have looked down. I should have kept looking at where he was traveling to see if I saw an ender pearl or something shoot out, but I didn't see one. I really didn't see one. Where did he maybe he pearled Oh, he might have pearled into that. That's a next level play. I'll give him credit if he pearled into a cave like that. Oh, well, fudge me up. Well, I'm looking, and I'm not seeing him. He would have TP'd out by now for sure. Alrighty, here's an emerald. I feel like someone's 
got to come out here if they're looking for one of these. Come on, somebody find me lurking by the emerald. That's what I want. That's what I'm, I'm going to chill here for a little bit, see if somebody shows up. Ah, we've got one. I knew somebody would show. Hit him. Hit him. There's a shot. There's another shot. He's off the edge for sure. Let's get over here. Let's get over here. He's not getting a safety. He is not getting a safety. You are mine. Come back up. Come back. Oh, he's done. He burned. He burned from the fire damage. One more bow kill to go. You heard the ding. Slash CH. Uno mass left. That emerald is the best bait. He didn't even go for the emerald though. He just came past it. I guess the emerald drew his attention over here or something. He wanted it. He wanted it so bad. So bad, but he couldn't have it. Oh my god, that was a big piece of roof that just fell down. Okay, what does he have? Okay, this is good. Rage up. Hit, hit, hit. And... Oh no, I killed him. Did I decapitate him at least? Well, I got his stuff. Full diamond and a slice sword. Speed 2 potion. Well, I didn't mean to murderize him that quickly, but it looks like I did. <laughs> Sorry, man. I had to do what I had to do. I didn't get your head either, which is kind of a bummer. Oh well. Oh well, Slice let me down. Or, the guillotine let me down again. I feel like I never get heads, man. I feel like I never ever do. Well, I'm gonna chill over here, because this seems to be a little bit more of a hot zone. We had two people show up in the last minute, so... Maybe one more will come by for this emerald, and I don't know if I look too intimidating or what, so maybe I should get naked. But then if I get sniped, I'm gonna tilt. So I'm gonna put this here and here. There we go. There we go, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll bait him in real good. Really, really good. Yeah, totally. All right, I've got nothing. I'm an unarmed civilian with steak running around the war zone. Please don't try to get this emerald. Whatever you do, don't try to get this emerald right here. Are you serious? Oh, he's trying to TP. No, you don't. No, you don't. Armor's back on. Oh, what? You thought you could take me, Lahop? Lahop, what's going on? You better Lahop out of here. Why can't I hit him? Are you serious? No, 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 no. He's not getting away. He's not getting away. I have to hit this right now. Wait. The fudge. Why is he not getting hit with any of the- Alright, Snorlax. You'll do the trick. You'll be just fine. Can I These arrows are so weird! Got him! There it is! Archery basics complete. Let's see if Lahop is still Lahopping about. Or did he- did- where'd he go? He must have crossed this bridge. He must be on his way. Alright, let's see if we can find him. Just for Bants. Just for Bants, you're going for the guillotine. We're going for the guillotiner. Lahop, where you at, fam? We're gonna try and get one skull before we wrap this episode up as well. That would be the dream. That would be the absolute dream. Oh, I raged on accident. Fudge sakes. Wasted my strength buff. Wasted it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Well, we beat all of today's challenges. So if I slash CH, I can buy more for 96,000 stars, but I'm not gonna do that. I get fresh ones in seven hours, and I can still attempt the accidental pyromaniac, which is not easy, of course. That is a really, really tough challenge. And I'm just excited for Friday. New world coming, more daily challenges, more updates, gonna be sick. Super stoked for it. I'm sorry there's not more people in the war zone because I would love to get myself some more kills out here and attempt to get some play ahead sliced up, but the only people I really know where they're at is, is that group of like 10 really overpowered players that are all grouped up at spawn. I don't really want to mess with them. <laughs> I just don't. Oi! Oh god! Oh god! Have mercy! Have mercy! Don't let yourself get combat tag, Mitch. Don't do it. Just bat bomb. Preemptive bat bomb. If they find you, you're dead. If you Speaking of those overpowered players, that's who I just witnessed. Okay, it's your boy. Your boy? Your boy, you might want to leave, your boy. I don't think you realize what's a brewing behind you. And slash spawn, crouch. Please tell me the armada is not on the way. I don't want to die to the army, the legion of stacked teammates. Please go away. <sighs> I'm alive. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't kill more people in the war zone, like I said. It was uh, not the day for that, or at least not the time. And I think that is going to do it for this episode of Skybounds. Hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button. Everything you need is in the video details. And I will see you all tomorrow with more. Thank you for watching. I love you and goodbye.